In this video, we're going to talk about how to configure URL filtering profiles on your Palo Alto device. Now, a URL filtering profile is a way of being able to look at a URL or a web page that a user is going to and determining whether you want them to access the website or not access the website. This comes out to be really handy because the Palo Alto has a database of various websites and categorizes them accordingly. For instance, say you had a category called news. Now in the old old days of filtering of internet, uh, what you would have to do is you'd have to come out and you'd have to find all of the news sites. And so you'd have to create a big, huge list such as New York Times, uh, BBC, Fox News, um, you know, and, and all the other websites that are out there. This always became a problem because there's a whole lot more news sites than you possibly know about. And even though you're constantly updating the list, there's always new sites being added every single day. Uh, so if you imagine if here, we're just talking about news sites, but there's dozens of other categories of sites out there, such as government and financial and hacking um, that you probably want to block or allow all depending on their categories. Great thing is, is the Palo Alto has these categories automatically created for us and they update them for us as part of our uh, support policy with them. So let's go ahead and let's create a policy specifically that blocks news. So here we are, we're on our Palo Alto and this policy, this configuration is a fairly simple configuration. Basically everything is open from inside to outside. There are no restrictions as far as applications. Everything is allowed. Specifically for this, I'm going to be using this section of URL filtering test pages. This is provided by Palo Alto. Um, go ahead and just Google URL, Palo Alto URL testing pages, and you will see that there are lots of different categories down here um, from you know adult, auctions, business, dating, ex, you know, financial, and so on. Specifically, like I said, we're going to be looking for news. So there's the news page. I'm just going to open that in a new tab and we'll see it's a pretty boring news page. Uh, basically, it's just included as part of the categories that we can then filter on and confirm things are being blocked. So now that I have a sample page that I can go to to confirm news is being blocked or allowed, I can go back to my firewall and I can configure my filtering profile. Now profiles are objects and therefore I would look under my object tab. So under objects, on the left hand side I see I have a URL filtering section. Under the security profiles, URL filtering. There is a predefined category or predefined filter here. I'm actually going to leave this one alone, uh, but it gives an example that you might be able to look from in the future. So I'm going to click add and I'll just call this block news. Now in reality, you probably want to have much more than just news being blocked in this configuration, but for this sample, we'll leave it at that. So I can go ahead and I can scroll down through these various categories or up here, I can go ahead and type in news and hit enter and it filters down the list for me. By default, I can see the site access is set to allow. I want to change that. So I'm just going to click where it says allow and I'll set it to block. So now when I clear out my filter, I can see all my categories are there. But if I find my news list here, news is now set to block while as everything else is allow. So I'll say OK. And then I'll go back to my policy and I'll add that profile to my uh, internet facing policy. To add that policy, we go to the actions tab, add that profile, excuse me. Uh, and then under profile settings, profile type is currently set to none. I'll set it to profiles. And I will change my URL filtering profile to my block news profile. Okay. And commit. So what this is doing now is it's pulling off of its database of 
various categories of websites and it's going to identify every single website that is listed as a news site and should block it. <clears throat> All right, and so now we go back up to our test page here, and when I refresh this, we should now see a block page. And there we go. Uh, specifically, the web page has been blocked, and again, this can be customized. Uh, it tells them the specific URL you went to, and the reason or the category that it falls under as being news. This could then fit for several other, or most other uh, news pages, such as the New York Times, uh, should be blocked as well. Now, one thing to note is that this is currently running over HTTP. Uh, so if we specify HTTP colon whack whack and then the URL filtering page, we see that we are being blocked. This is sometimes different than if we run HTTPS, in which case the websites are not always blocked. So therefore you have to make sure that you have the SSL decryption enabled in your system as well in order to capture the encrypted pages.